everyone, we are talking all about art this morning, and I bet you never guessed that you can use recycled materials to make art. And Jennifer Jankowski, she is the primary art teacher here at Wexford Elementary. They call her the crazy art lady. She has it down packed. And Caitlin, she's in the third grade, and she's going to be your assistant here. So what do we have? Well, we have a <laughs> lot of things for you, Mikey. Yeah. First, we have recycled crayons. Our students saved their broken, unloved crayons. And Caitlin and her peers removed the labels. They put them in these silicon molds. Mm -hmm. We bake them in our toaster oven at 250 degrees. In the summertime, you can put it outside on a really hot day on the asphalt or the sidewalk. You can choose your mold, and then you can take your crayon Find some texture around your oh, that's home. Good texture. Mm -hmm. Caitlin, would you like to rub? And then just press really, really hard. Mm -hmm. Find some texture around your house. And then you can create something new. Oh, that that's can... so fun. Go, that's Caitlin, go. <laughs> okay, so what do we have next? So next we have recycled markers. Mm -hmm. Our students saved their recycled markers, Mikey. We just apply a little bit of, um, we just put some water in a cup. Mm -hmm. We take our dried marker and I save the, the marker juice or the new liquid paint yes. in some kind of bottle. These are supplement bottles. Mm -hmm. I also move them into spray bottles so that students can create their new masterpiece. Yeah, and Caitlin's spraying right yes, there, and yes. it looks like it says uh, Pittsburgh Today Live. How fun is Absolutely. that? Absolutely. <laughs> Our favorite show, Mikey. Yeah. <laughs> and now Caitlin will demonstrate how we paint with liquid watercolor. Mm -hmm. And so th that's just markers that just, you reused. Just markers that were going to end up in the landfill. Mm -hmm. So we're giving them one more little bit of life. I love that. Okay, so we have some fun projects in front of us. So if we parents want to get messier at home like we do at school, <laughs> we reused mailer uh, envelopes. I always get this yep. stuff and yep. I don't know what to do with it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I will show you, Mikey. Uh -huh. So Caitlin, took some liquid tempera paint, mm -hmm. painted the background, mm -hmm. and then we reused some tape uh, dispenser mm -hmm. tubes, paper towel tubes, receipt tubes, ask your local store, and then she made a beautiful composition with entirely recycled materials. Oh, that's so pretty. I love the colors, the purples and the blues. And Okay, All right, and so this looks like uh, water bottles. I just drink a bottle of water. Yes, <laughs> this looks like what that is. Yeah. Well, Mikey, if you would be so kind to pass me the scissors. Okay. I'll show you first. We can cut a water bottle. Um, some are squeezable and easy to cut. Mm -hmm. Some are not, so you'll just have to See what kind of water you're drinking. And you're just cutting you make, slits, in. and we're cutting slits okay. to make petals. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we can shape the edge. We can also color the bottle oh. or paint the bottle. And this is the final result you get. Yes, <gasps> you can make a flower. a flower. Yes, or you can make a chandelier. And this for your is house. a bottle. Yeah, it's a chandelier. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Caitlin. You were an awesome assistant. How do I look? Do I look beautiful? Amazing. Oh, easy.